Hey everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite and Neil Caro. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It really is appreciated. Just want to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared and subscribed to the channel. Um, thank you so much for your support and I really appreciate your comments. And um, I do have PayPal up and running again, but um, if you want to have a personal um, reading, just shoot us through an email and we'll send you a link to the new PayPal account, okay? all right this is a scorpio reading so please only take what resonates and leave the rest do not make the story fit if it's not your story sometimes i do say hey or she sometimes the story might be vice versa yeah i know i get tired of saying it but i have to all right scorpio where shall i begin where do i begin to tell the story of a lover. <laughs> Scorpio, the person you love is not changing. Everything is the same. You are possessive of this person that you love requires more patience and consistency. All right. Well, I don't know whether you're the one, you may require the, the patience, but I think you also want consistency out of this um, person, okay? Um, but you're starting to realize that this person is not going to change everything is going to remain the same and you may be stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in anymore okay you will meet someone though someone that you want to see when you least expected expected uh, there's a positive change a sudden relocation finding something valuable so some of you um could be running into somebody that you maybe once had some feelings for or maybe once um you know had a short relationship with like it didn't really go anywhere but this is somebody that you're not expecting to see okay um and i do feel that this time around that maybe you and this person are ready to to meet maybe back then you know the timing was all off and maybe now the timing is right for some of you and for some of you well, you will meet someone you want to see. Hmm. Is it a new person? I don't know. I'm getting more of a feeling you already know this person. All right. So, okay. This card says the end of everything, a conclusion. If the four cards around it are negative, this card signifies a definite ending. Okay. So... I might have to pull one more card up here. So over here, it says that you will meet someone that you want to see when you least expect, expect it, but it's a positive change, okay? On this side of the card, it says, do things that aim for harmony. It's a question that setbacks and bad events uh, will come one after another. Be strong and defend yourself. So yeah, I think you're expecting this, Scorpio. I do, I do feel you're expecting this, okay? Because underneath it, it says the relationship will be shaken due to doubts. You're affected by by um, the envy of, of other people, okay? Fights might, and hurtful words, chaos in the family, storms in friendships, un unhappiness in love, okay? So to put it blankly for you, Scorpio, that if you're dealing with somebody and you expect this person to change, you're starting to realize that things are never gonna change, okay? Things will always remain the same because it suits that person, but it's not suiting you anymore, okay? Um, and I do think that there is somebody around you that is a little bit envious, okay? And you are having doubts in this relationship. And when I look over here, Scorpio, it says, uh, a third person is coming between you and hindering your love hurtful words and upsetting your loved ones. There is a talkative and disruptive woman that is involved. So somebody is involved with somebody else, Scorpio, and this is why it's giving you doubts, okay? Um, a third party situation, maybe not be, but whoever this person is that's interfering, they know exactly what they're doing and they don't want their, that person and you to be together, okay? So, there is a new beginning that's nearby for you, Scorpio, so be courageous and optimistic. A short term, the sorrow is going to be short term, okay? Um, but there is issues, there is issues here between the couples due to someone from the family, but the problem will be overcome. Compassionate, devoted, beautiful soul, desirable to fall in love with, okay? So, Scorpio, 
don't keep yourself stuck in a situation that's not going to go anywhere if you move forward the doors will open up because there is somebody else that you're going to meet whoever they're connected to are, is a very cunning person knows exactly what they're doing and they know how to play the game okay so even though you're you may walk away from this situation <coughs> i don't really see that there's going to be a big fight okay i think when you walk away from this situation that the person you're dealing with and whoever this woman is they're the ones that are having the fights because you're not there to keep the peace anymore scorpio you're not there to comfort anybody anymore so somebody who made a choice and maybe the choice wasn't you they should live with their friggin choices because you're not there to satisfy anybody's needs anymore you're satisfying your own needs and that's why i see that um they are making things a little bit difficult for you okay if they are in love with you scorpio they will be loyal to you but i i don't see that currently right now okay for some of you maybe but i'm not seeing that they're going to be loyal to you okay um you know i do feel that this person may be a womanizer never grows up is fond of freedom okay and that's why maybe they stick to this person because she's dumb or he's dumb or he's stupid i don't know whatever way it is that they don't question anything okay um but you do scorpio you question everything because your senses are working overtime okay and when your senses are working overtime scorpio you you feel the deceit you feel the distrust you feel that there's secrets there's lies you feel all that so you know one side of scorpio is the fbi agent if there's a will there's going to be a way and you will find out okay now i do feel that yes you love this person yes you you would love to spend more time with this person but it looks like that um you have a new beginning so be courageous be optimistic don't think that you'll never find anybody else because you are desirable okay um you're very attractive man or woman handsome okay you just don't see it you don't see it okay but somebody's coming your way scorpio and um yeah and you may take a leap of faith because you're having doubts about somebody you're starting to to think that you're just you know someone's trying to make a fool out of you somebody's trying to get away with something somebody is not telling you the truth here okay you know it you sense it don't disregard your gut scorpio if you need proof get it but somebody is choosing a new direction here okay and i kind of feel that new direction is going to take you somewhere where there's going to be a lot of happiness i do feel that but i haven't pulled out the cards yet yeah so you're waiting on communication scorpio you're waiting on communication and that's going to be the communication that makes you decide whether you're going to go in a new direction or not okay but you don't want to jump the gun i feel like you don't want to jump the gun okay um yeah we have a high level of commitment that's that's coming in scorpio um you know and i, I kind of feel like you're you're too loyal to this person you're too loyal to this person okay now i also feel that this person and whoever this queen of swords is are connected they're in a high level of commit commitment they're connected the king of wands the, que the queen of swords and the hierophant okay so yeah someone is trying to find their strength and courage okay that's what i said it's not you that's going to have the argument okay i feel like that uh history is going to repeat itself here okay i feel like somebody's repeating a pattern right somebody is repeating a pattern yeah look you want equal give and take scorpio that's why you're thinking do i go in a new direction do i speak up do i just go okay because you're trying to make a decision and you're not the only one that's trying to make a decision i feel like these two are having a passionate new beginning okay and are moving forward in their connection and that's why you're at judgment stage scorpio that's why you're thinking well why am i being stopped from having this passionate new beginning so either somebody is traveling okay um or something is coming to an end because i see you taking a leap of faith okay 
So you could be dealing with the four fixed signs, which is uh, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. All right, and I have Leo and Aquarius up here, and I have Taurus as the Hierophant. Okay, lots of fire in this too. All right, so are you going to take a leap of faith because of a repeated pattern? Because you know, it's it's going to happen again. All right, if this is not you, this is the other person. All right. I feel like, Scorpio, you're just buying your time right now, okay? But you do feel that there's manipulation that is going on around you, okay? Yeah, you're moving forward. I feel like with the chariot, you're moving forward, okay? So we do have one, you know, the previous card that said somebody that you... Uh, least expect you're going to run into well they're coming towards you they're coming to see you they want to talk to you Scorpio yeah could be an Aries could be an Aries somebody from your past somebody who thinks about you a lot and this thoughts the thoughts keep them up at night oh, and the full card is also an, an Aries we have lots of fire here all right so I see you Scorpio trying to make a decision here trying to make a choice weighing up your options looking at what you can do okay you have a wish fulfillment you know honestly scorpio you have a tower moment that's coming in and when that tower moment comes in there is a there is somebody rushing in to to make an offer okay now the tower moment i don't feel it's you i really don't feel it's you but if it is you know Take it as it resonates, but I'm not feeling that it's you. I feel like, yes, you're staying very calm in this situation, but you are hurt, okay? You're feeling lonely. You, you like, you're, you're always focusing on your home, your stability and your finances. That's, that's great, Scorpio, but where's the companionship, okay? Where is that person that you want by your side? And, you know, for some of you, you're actually quite happy just to be single, doing whatever you want to do. Focus on your home, your stability, your finances. But there's something that you're hurting. It's hurting you. Definitely. Third party situation toxic behavior too many people involved repeated patterns you're not wrong this is why you're at a crossroads you're not wrong you want truth and clarity and you're going to find it you're going to find it because you're going to go search for it and there you are feeling left out in the cold okay i just don't understand scorpio what's the point in being in a relationship that makes you feel like you're on your own what's the point even if it's a situation ship you're always on your own you're always waiting you're always waiting for your turn and even though you're hurt scorpio i feel like you're going to move in a new direction and and try it you know try and open up your heart to to other people maybe maybe it's been difficult for you and i think you'll get a victory if you do that okay but you're going towards a lot of comfort whatever you're going towards you're going towards a lot of comfort you may go towards somebody who um, is an entrepreneur or has their own business or is in a high level position, okay? This person is comfortable. They have their own home. They have, um, um, you know, stability and they have everything that, that you could possibly want here, Scorpio, okay? All right, so what's the connection between Scorpio and this person? Could be a divorced person. Could be a lawyer. Mm, whatever it is, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, my dear. All right. An emotional connection that is coming in. But emotionally, you're upset that you have to walk away. Okay. Somebody is very promiscuous and this is what's hurting you. Their energy is in and out. They're going to message you, Scorpio. But there's a connection that is being offered to you here. Someone's making a choice. All right, you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new beginning, a door that is opening for you, but you're walking away from something because there's too much confusion, there's too many options, you're turning your back on what no longer serves you and you're planning your future. 
you're out to release this heavy burden. But what's being offered to you by the universe is a soulmate connection that it, that is coming in, Scorpio. You're going to come out of feeling stuck, okay? There is a, a plan here. Things are going to be revealed. You've got the Ten of Cups. You've got happiness. You've got justice. And you've got a wish fulfillment. And we have the lovers, okay? So some secret's going to come out. And whatever that secret is, Scorpio, it's going to cause you to make a head over heart decision, something that you didn't want to do here, okay? I do feel that, you know, you're going to seek your own happiness. You've put in a lot of hard work in a situation to get an empty cup at the end of the day, okay? You can get empty cups anywhere. The diamond doesn't out there, all right? But I feel like someone wants to apologize to you. Somebody wants to move things to calmer waters, okay? But I do feel, yeah, there it goes. I do feel, Scorpio, that you don't want any more repeated patterns here. You don't want sneaky behavior. You want to be out in the open. You don't want to be mentally tied and trapped to something. You're better off being single for some of you. That's what you're saying. Oh, I feel single anyway in this relationship. So you're moving into an empress energy. And that Empress energy is what's going to draw this couple up towards you. You're not chasing, you're attracting, okay? Somebody's going to go through some great grief and sorrow because they had hope in this situation, you know? But what's the point? If you don't put in the effort, it dies. If you disconnect the energy, it dies, okay? And this is what this third party did. This is what this third party did. You're not the third party here, Scorpio. Okay, even if this person is actually um, connected to somebody else through marriage commitment or whatever, it you are still not the third party. It's the one they're connected to is the third party because they're stopping soulmates from being together. They're stopping abundance from coming through. Okay, and when you stop somebody's abundance coming through, you start lacking and this is what's going to happen to this person. They will stop, start lacking where they were giving and giving and giving before. They're not going to be able to give. Okay? So the abundance now comes towards you, Scorpio. All right? So there might be boundaries being set here because you need to heal. You need to keep your distance, okay? Because where you were once happy, okay, I feel like that whatever was illuminated to you is like this person tried to keep it secret but it, it it's already out it's it's out you may already know and if you don't know it's certainly coming your way okay um so the sun is going to shine again scorpio think about where you want to invest your time your energy and everything okay we have communication coming in very very quickly all right so Somebody's watching you on social media. Somebody's watching you, spying on you, okay? Um, there's communication that's going to come in. And this may make you happy, but I see it being a short-term happiness, okay? Um, and you're really, really thinking, Scorpio, whether you want to end this, transform it, or move away from it, okay? Um, because I kind of feel like that you feel like you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. You feel like this person is not being truthful. You feel like there's too many secrets around. And you also possibly may have wanted to remove yourself from this situation a while ago. But things were happening that it wasn't the right time. Um, you didn't, you weren't 100% sure. So even you prolonged the ending of this Scorpio. Okay. All right. So... I'm not saying that this person does not have feelings for you. They actually do. But I don't feel they're strong enough for them to, to walk away what's keeping them mentally tied and trapped. They're happy having their cake and eating it too, Scorpio. But um, you're starting to realise that it's not equal give and take in this situation. You're missing out on a lot. You're missing out on what life has to offer. Okay. Um, somebody may feel it's too late to take action. Time is running out, and if time runs out, it is going to be too late. I think at this stage, it's not too late to take action, um, but they may feel that it is too late, okay? All right, so somebody wants forgiveness, struggling to get over. Um, 
somebody feels like that you and this person have too many differences, okay? Um, I don't think you do. I think it's just an excuse for this person because I feel with Scorpios, they're very loyal, okay? If you have a family, you're focused on your family. If you have children, you're focused on your children, you know? Um, you have values. You do have values, but you let your guard down on this person, all right? But the difference is that they're non-committal, even though they're in a commitment. They are non-committal, okay? Uh, I wasn't happy with the way things were going. You know, that may be you, Scorpio. I wasn't happy with the way things were going. But when you sit down and have a conversation with this person, if they dare to say that to you, you cut them off there and then. Unsatisfied. Yeah. Cut them off there and then. What are they unsatisfied with? I had this post the other day. What was it? When you marry a Scorpio, you not only get a porn star, a nurse, uh, a doctor, um, a mother, um, whatever comes under everything that this, a person does, um, you also get the FBI agent. So what what was this person unsatisfied with? They're unsatisfied with where they, they are, not with you, okay? Um, somebody's got regret, okay? Somebody's got regret. They want to mend the situation. I want to fix our situation. Uh, they still have hope in this situation. They're hoping that they don't run out of time. You will hear from this person soon a conversation. You want to hear their voice or they want to hear your voice, okay? There seems to be some unfinished business between the two of you. Um, somebody let their ego and pride get in the way. I'm afraid of what other people will say. Um, yeah. And, you know, Scorpio, this person makes you feel like you're unworthy. And you, you, you're worth so much, Scorpio. You need to see that you're worth so much, okay? Um, but you're a better person than them. You are definitely a better person than them, okay? You have a soul contract. Oh, my God. <laughs> You have a soul contract with this person, okay? I, I feel, Scorpio, that you were the catalyst. You were the catalyst to show this person that love exists, that you don't need to love material things. If you love um, a person, everything else will follow. I keep saying, allow love into your life and wealth and success will follow, okay? But you taught this person a lesson that they're never going to forget. Okay, um, there will be disagreements because this person is saying, I wish, I wish you understood how I feel. And no, you don't, Scorpio, you don't. You know that this person has very strong feelings for you. You know that, that you and this person could have it all if they just give it a chance. So no, you don't understand how they feel, okay? Do you know Julio Iglesias' father at 90 years of age okay, conceived a child and still had a relationship. So anybody that says to you, I'm too old for this or I don't have time or all the fucking excuses are under the sun, don't sit around and listen because this person is reminiscing about you. What's the point? You wanted equal give and take, but what you've got is neglected. Because somebody failed to give you what you needed, Scorpio. So, um, you know, this person knows that they've made mistakes. And not only that, Scorpio, I really feel that you closed your eyes to a lot of things. You let go of a lot of things, even though that it was directly in front of you, the universe gave you the sign, okay? Um, but you, you chose to ignore it. You chose to ignore it. It was directly there. It was in front of you. Think back to a moment. And it was there. Not once, but twice. And you ignored it. So, Scorpio, someone doesn't want to run anymore. Okay? Our love is always there despite the distance. I left when things got hard. Okay? I see your side of the story. You made me realize my flaws. But somebody sabotaged this connection, okay? 
and I don't feel you want to deal with it anymore. And that's not for everybody, but those of you that are going through something that you're picking up through this reading, okay? Somebody does, is not making you a priority. Somebody is giving you excuses. Somebody is telling you lies. There's a lot of secrets that are going on. Everything is hush, 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 hush. But deep down inside Scorpio, you know what's going on. And this mistake that they've made by not telling you the truth, they will regret it for the rest of their lives, okay? And no matter how many times they want to come back and fix this situation, if there's going to be no forward movement, if there's going to be no you, me, if it's always going to be you, me and debris, well, you stick to debris because that was the choice that you made, okay? Now, although this person may see your side of the story, they're only saying, I see your side of the story, just to keep you nice and calm so we can continue a friendship at least because this person doesn't want to lose you, okay? All right, so I just want to get three full cards out of Katina Destiny. Okay. Now, just bear in mind, nothing is there ever in concrete here. All right, I just want some sort of confirmation to what I just told you, all right? Because honestly, Scorpio, the last three, four readings, you kept getting the engagement, the surprise marriage, okay? So either this person has gone off somewhere with somebody else and is hiding secrets from you, I don't like the looks of these. What's it say? There are problems in the relationship. The person you care about is wasting your time. You will realize this and end the relationship. So there's your confirmation. Okay. Um, you are tormenting yourself with the thought of loving the wrong person. A trusted friend will offer a solution. There will be peace. And I do feel you'll walk away peacefully. Uh, a person who brings order... A woman's success depends on her, on effort and hard work. So, at the end of the day, are you wasting your time putting all your effort and hard work in somebody that is only creating, a, you know, keeping you mentally tied and trapped, and, you know, is, is having a relationship with somebody else? I don't know. You'll be, you will experience great joy. There's a well-meaning woman who supports you wedding return improvement again creativity happiness positive energy good luck and divine power so if you want that ring on your finger scorpio move on and find somebody who will okay but i feel like this person is attending a wedding and it could be their own okay and there are problems in the relationship the person you care about is wasting your time and you are just tormenting yourself believe it i feel it in my energy okay um but understand something scorpio something great is coming your way you need to believe you need to trust that something better is coming your way okay there you go there's a deep secret that soothes the soul, revelations of life secrets, enrichments of the soul. Scorpio, you are a very wise person and to keep yourself mentally tied and trapped to somebody that you know is wasting your time is is amazing. I, I don't understand that, but yeah, we all have our destiny, okay? But here you go, Scorpio, a relationship with strong roots, your partner loves you with great passion, health, vitality, beauty, recovering from illness, healthy birth. Okay, so um, you will recover from this, Scorpio. You think you're not going to. It's you that doesn't want to go through the death, the transformation, the sorrow, the hurt. Okay, so maybe this is why you turn a blind eye. But deep down inside, you know the truth. And if, you, and if it's not deep down inside, the truth is coming to you. But I believe you already saw the truth. Not once, but twice. You already saw it. And like I said, you closed your eyes to it. Okay, but there's a strong relationship coming your way with strong roots, okay? 
And for those of you that don't give a shit, I just want to stay single. I'm happy. I'm doing whatever I want to do. I go wherever I want to go. I don't need to worry about anybody. Well, good for you. Totally agree with you. But for some of you, you're feeling empty, unworthy, and not good enough. And it's all because of this person. And yet, if you put yourself out there, move your, remove yourself from this person, regenerate, what, what do I want to say? Energize yourself again, okay? Because the glow that comes out of you, Scorpio, it, it is attractive to other people. This person is dimming your lights. And that's all I'm going to say, okay? So, Scorpio, if you do want a personal reading, you can email me. I will have a special coming up for you in um, end of October, November. I haven't decided what it is yet, but if anybody has any ideas, <laughs> let me know. All right, Scorpio, love you guys. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.